Hello, and welcome to the stream. Almost. I'm not quite finished doing the magic I'm supposed to do before I stream, um, but that's that's okay for me. I don't know how it is for you. Alrighty. Crap. Some of this stuff is important. I should really have done it before, but, you know, I don't care. Uh, okay, so it looks like we are streaming and we are doing well. Um, all right. All right, hello and welcome to the stream. Uh, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, we're actually going to be doing something that helps someone, which is very much against the policy of my stream. Um, but it won't help you, and it won't help me. So it does sort of con you know, comply with my stream parameters of never helping anyone. The person we're going to help is Nat Bachman, and we're going to explain why we're doing all this magic uh, in just a second here. Um... And, okay, make directory, yeah, that's the one, okay, so assuming I can do this correctly, which I probably cannot, but you know, you never know, um, all right, so this is, this is, this is going to be just plain, this is probably a terrible idea, um, And, okay, so let's see. Da, 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 da. Okay, I'm going to do something very, very terrible that hopefully isn't too terrible. Um, and that is I'm going to show you some of my email. So this should be very exciting if it works. Well, I guess it'll be actually very exciting if it doesn't work either. Okay, here we are. So I received an email from Dr. Uh, Charles H. Acton Chuck. Um, and basically, because I've interacted with some of the NAIF people, um, I did want to have a chance to thank them. Um, and I've never had had a chance to thank them. And this came in, by the way, yesterday at about, I think I mentioned it on stream when it came, came in because I was really excited about it. It's not super exciting. It doesn't mean I'm special. It just means that I sent email to NASA at some point. Um, so it's a time where they conduct the annual salary review. One thing supervises, that's him. Solicit comments for folks who might blah, 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 blah. Might improve. Um, so they're basically asking me um, if, you know, had any comments on Ed Wright or Nat Bachman. Um, so let's go ahead and write a nice letter saying that Nat is a wonderful person. I do need to figure out what I did with Ed, but I don't really remember it. Um, so... So I'm not really, um, we'll have to put something in there for sure. Okay. Um, and this also will give us a little bit of extra information because I'm going to be maybe cutting and pasting some emails that uh, Nat sent me uh, that provide more information than I necessarily gave on stream, not because I'm trying to hide anything, but because it's information that is extremely trivial. Uh, but, you know, I like it. Maybe you'll like it too, and maybe you won't. And this is actually, I should probably say this is Chuck Letter. I do want to have a uh, NAT letter be separate. And let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and look at Chuck's letter here. So as I write this letter, what I do normally when I write letters is I make notes as to what things I want to say, and then I kind of form them into words and sentences, which is how you know we, we write letters. And because this is going to be pretty much the solo thing I'm going to be doing for a while, uh, we can actually minimize some of the other crap. By the way, I do have excerpts running. I don't know why I shouldn't, but it's still back there. I need to fix that at some point. In fact, let me make a note. I'm going to fix that. Doing fix X Earth in background. We can actually make the background more interesting. And we probably will, but not right now. Okay. So, blah, 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 blah. So, here's the... Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Chuck. Thank you for giving me a chance. Um, now, I want to be careful. I want to say, basically, thank you for giving me a chance to say nice things about Nat, but you got to be careful how you say that. Uh, one thing we're going to do is say Spice is well documented, uh, but Nat helps anyway. We're also going to look at some of the emails he sent, but that, you know, that, uh, okay, to do, don't forget the other guy, Ed Wright, uh, who is a wonderful person, uh, you know, and I'm sure he helps a lot of other people, but I haven't had much interaction with him. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you for, um, giving me a chance to comment. Um, 
comment on my discussions with, we use the same terminology he uses uh, because we want to sort of show that we're, um, that we're, you know, we're, we're using the same language. I don't want to say it's performance because he doesn't say performance. I don't, I don't think he does actually perform. No, he doesn't. Oh, well, okay, he does say performance right in the top there. Um, uh, now, what I'm trying to say here is something like, I've wanted to do. Th I've wanted to praise Nat for a long time, and I feel I haven't had the opportunity to do that. Uh, um, uh, uh, since I've wanted to thank Nat for a long time, but have been remiss in doing so, I'm hoping my. Um, And I could say Nat's performance here, because he mentions... I don't really want to do that, though. Um, so I've wanted to thank... Okay, so okay, I want to thank Nat for a long time. I have been recently in doing so. Um, I know my comments are confidential. Um, he actually says this. Let's see what wording he used. Uh, comments are held... Are normally... Well, my comments would be held would be held in confidence, comma, but please feel free to share them with Nat. Okay, so one nice thing we're going to say about Nat here is um, also astronomy, stack exchange. What we're going to say here is that by benefiting me, uh, Nat has also uh, benefited astronomy.stackexchange and benefiting others. So we're going to give sort of the multiplier effect here for Nat. Um, okay. So, sorry, I need to now... Let's go ahead and look specifically now at Spice Double in April of last year. There's actually more... Okay, I need to mention that too. Hang on. More than just mentioned. Um, and got to be a little bit careful here because we are praising that, and we don't want to bring too much technical detail into this because supervisors, although Chuck Acton is actually pretty smart, um, I think... Um, we don't necessarily want to give it too much technical information because that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about how wonderful Nat is, but there are other cases that I've talked to Nat that are not mentioned here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and look at my... You can't see this because this is actually private, but I'm going to look at my... Um, I'm going to be looking at my email from Nat, and I will cut and paste some of it into, uh, into, uh, into here, but let's see. Uh, so there's a couple ways of doing this. And is there too many people named? I'm looking at all the email I sent to Nat. Wow. Is now, he might actually be limiting this to um, last year, but I mean, we could go a little bit further, maybe annual. So, uh, no, 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 interactions. Okay. So, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's see. Um. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to have to do a little bit more of a limitation here. Uh, I'm, I'm using uh, Alpine, my mailer, to limit the... Um, uh, okay. Oh, and streaming. I'll mention Twitch. Uh, Twitch streaming, which helps others. I'm not going to link to it, um, because I think it's pretty crappy, actually. Uh, but I will mention that I do it. And so again, that is, by helping me, that is helping the world. The world being the zero people who watch my stream, plus the one or two people who I answer on Stack Exchange. Uh, but, you know, we don't have to point that out. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, here we are. Um, no, 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 let's see. Um... Okay, let's see. Um, okay. Wow. Indeed, this is a long freaking answer. Jesus Christ. Fuck, I don't even think I read all of this. Shit. He actually wrote an entire piece of code for me. Um... 
Okay. Wow. This is some good freaking email here. Um. Okay. Let me copy uh, this. Uh, because it is useful. Um, it's not, I can't really copy all of it because, I mean, I can't really use, I'm going to copy all of it, but I'm not, I'm not going to use all of it. Uh, let's do this. Uh, I got to be careful how much um, technical crap I want to put in here. Okay. So this is one of the answers from Nat about, um, ultimately about Jovian lunar eclipses. Um, I, you know, obviously I need to be, I need to sort of summarize how he, he helped me here. Um, um, okay. Now again, I gotta be careful. There's so much he's done, I, I wanna kind of say it all, but I can't, because it's really not there. Um, because it, it's just not something that Chuck needs, wants to hear even. He doesn't even want to hear that. Um, lunar, okay. Array lunar eclipse calculations regarding, I'm going to use the whole word, lunar eclipse calculations. That was very helpful in helping, uh, I shouldn't say, very helpful in helping me, no. Very helpful and providing both code and understanding for my project. Um, it is Pomodoro time. As always, we will skip the first time. Okay. Very helpful, both code and understanding for my project. Um, now, the only problem is I gotta say, I haven't published it yet, so not published, but Give git link or tit link. You know, I can give him a little, some tits. Uh, give him git link. Um, my project regarding. Uh, right, let's actually just go this way now. Is there have, uh, regarding my project to calculate lunar eclipses. Eclipses as viewed from Jupiter's surface. Um, I was impressed. Let's, let's, let's be impressed. Um, impressed by both the amount of detail, um, I was impressed by the amount, let's just say the amount of detail in Nat's replies, um, zoom a bit. there's a better one by him actually than this. Um, um I was impressed by both the understanding Nat showed of my uh, of my exact problem issue or problem my exact uh, I was impressed both by the understanding Nat showed of my exact issue instead of providing me um, on the amount of detail in Nat's replies. Okay, now I get to fuck with the government. Often, when I contact government agencies, I tend to receive a form letter reply that is only slightly, vaguely, partly, slightly, partly, sh a form letter reply that is only somewhat connected, that is only indirectly connected, uh, connected with my question or concern. Uh, 
And I don't want to say that makes me like the government better because that's not true, and I, that's kind of weird. Um, uh, uh, Nat, in contrast, Nat seemed to understand my uh, my exact question and provide exactly the information I needed. Okay. And in that case, the word exact twice is emphasis. It's not redundant. Okay. Mm. Although I haven't yet, quote, published my results. Um, now I need to find out where the hell I put this bullshit. Um, and I think it's in README Occultation. Uh, oh, it's Astro, README, Jupiter, Galilean Eclipses. Um, that's not very good. That is not cool at all. Spice closest conjuncts terminator. That's different. Okay, that's too little of an answer to quote, but let's see if we can get um Okay, let's let's see if we can help him out by not Okay. <sighs> mm. Now, where am I using occult C, which is the kind of one they want? Uh, is it occult C? It's not. I'm almost sure they don't spell it out. So let me see what it is. Help. Oh, it is a cult C. Why the hell am I not using it? Not cool. Oh, okay. What the hell is it doing here? Oh, this is the thing I was going to do. This, okay. Okay. Well, yeah, this is something that's worth uh, doing because it just looks like it's really, really long. Um, well, actually, I quote Nat again here, actually. Oh, cool. In fact, I quote Nat's entire answer here. All right. Let's definitely put this in. Um, okay. So with Nat's help, I was able. Hold on. With Nat's help, come on. I was. I was able to create, now I need to do the link. With Nat's help, and, um, uh, the publicly available document with Nat's help. I'm able to create the public with Nat's help, um, 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 which I think will, which I think can help, um, 
probably need to mention it though, don't I? Uh, as a in-progress answer to, and now I need to go to Stack Exchange. Uh, always, always fun to go to Stack Exchange. Uh, let's see. Lunar eclipses on... There's many, many ways to get to this. I'm just going to do it this way. Um... I could trim this down, but I probably shouldn't because the the actual word wordage here is pretty good. Um, yeah, okay, now I do need to log in to put this comment in here. Oh yeah, I forgot. I got people are fucking with me. They're not fucking with me. They're very nice people. Um, but I need to get to that at some point. Um, let's see. Now, is there any place here where I've already mentioned this? Dot text new. Oh my god. Um. Oh wow, I actually have. I probably should get rid of that actually. Um. Because the Twitch stream is long gone. But let me add this a little. Let me add my little in-progress answer here. And let me see if it actually is an in-progress answer, because I, I like doing shit like this. Um, um, yeah, this is some pretty good shit here. I like it. Um, I'll be available document, blah, 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 blah. Um, oh, now we can sort of segue into he helps me a lot. Uh, um, well, there may not be an abundance of interest in Jovian lunar eclipses. I get to use the word Jovian to show how smart I am. Um, Should I say Nat's help again? It's really kind of redundant there. Nat has helped Nat has helped me answer many other astronomy.stackexchange.com questions. Um, providing wider benefit to the amateur need to spell it. I think this is correct, actually. Yep. Uh, okay. Now, technically, okay. Now, without, yes, Jupiter is supposed to be capitalized, but it isn't. So, um, I also stream to Twitch. Do I need to say Twitch? I probably do. Now let's be more vague. Also live stream video of my astronomy based coding. Um, um, it, doesn't need to, it doesn't have to be live stream. I also produce a video of my C Spice coding. Um, so Nat's help um, is benefiting even more people? That just sounds like something I'm doing, though. Um, since uh, 
video of Missy Spice coding. Um, uh, okay, it's not really video, of course, but we say video. I also post videos of my C Spice coding which would be impossible that that's help. Um, so Nat is benefiting Ah, providing wider okay. Aha, here we go. I post videos of my C Spice coding. Um, much of which is based on Nat's replies. Nat's can't don't say Nat's help again. Uh, much of which is based on Nat's replies. I think that's fine. Okay. Um. Okay. So I think I've probably beaten this to death for um, for this. I mean, really, this is, aw this is there's a lot more awesome stuff in here. Um, um, I gotta be careful how I, oh, not careful, but I kind of want to arrange these in sort of a logical, okay. Um, well, C Spice is very well documented. Nat often provides the missing piece I need for coding, or even lets me know when C Spice does not have a specific feature that I that I assumed it had that I assumed it might have that's 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 a good sentence okay I'm gonna feel really bad because I'm gonna say like 10 billion nice things about Nat followed by um, like one line Ed is okay too <laughs> but I, I will I will look at that as well okay so let's look at some other email that Nat has sent me Although, honestly, let's see. Um, okay. Now, the problem is here he just says eclipses. Um, and unfortunately, I think I'm going to not be able to lunar eclipse calculations. Um... So the, the, the other thing here is, I'm going to go ahead and put this into notes so you no one gets to ever read it. Um, so let me put a little space here. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the other, I can't, I can only cut and paste from the other um, side, but let's go ahead and do this. Because um, this is really awesome, I don't think, though... I don't think I'm able to use. Ah, that's not what I meant to do. Please stand by. Okay. No. Die. I want to do this. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know if I can work this in here, but basically, um, it turns out if you compute uh, lunar eclipses of Earth using Earth's actual radius it doesn't work um, and it turns out because <laughs> the earth's atmosphere uh, which is very tiny but can, can actually affect eclipses and then he mentions this other really really nice sort of thing here um, but I don't see a way of, of adding this to the wonderful things I've said about it so uh, this is actually uh, I need to because right now I'm, I'm making it sound like the whole thing is about uh, of Lu Jovian lunar eclipses. Um, uh, 
I, I don't want to say as a bonus, he helped me with regular lunar eclipses as well. Now, um, so the other thing I need to mention at some point is that he's helped me with stuff that isn't listed here. Um, but let's let's go down the list here. Um, um, Uh, um, okay, this is Ed. I think Ed's actually not helping me that much. I don't want to say that. I keep forgetting him on stream and casual comments like that could be misinterpreted. Um, okay. Holy crap. This is a freaking long email. Uh, God damn. My own email is freaking long. Um, okay, let me go ahead and actually... Um, let me quote this response as well. This one is not as important. God damn. Okay. Okay, need to go over here and do an RR to reload. But in here. Okay. Um. Okay, so this is basically me trying to find the next or previous time of sunrise and sunset. I need to mention my API. Hang on, before I forget. All right, Pomodoro time, back in two and two. Yes, I coughed. We are almost back. And we're back. Okay, let me go ahead and make a mention of the API, though I'm not sure that I actually want to mention it, because I... There's some issues here with, um... Which I will, will mention in README Stream. Excuse me. Um... At some point, both because of my age and my susceptibility to the coronavirus and, and disease in general, I would like to start looking into the possibility of creating, um, of seeing if the stuff that I create uh, can outlive me to at least some degree. Uh, I mean, nothing lasts forever, um, but, but, you know, I don't necessarily want to be creating something that 
that goes away in a month because I go away in a month in any case. Okay. Um, all right, we were looking at the other one here for the Spice Double shit. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, okay. This is actually not as helpful because it turns out um, I think, oh, um, um, because actually there was a, um, I actually sent him something in after this that explained, uh, da -da -da -da. um, okay. Now I'm going to have to go to something else. Another... I'm going to have to look at the... Net. Right now I was looking at the messages I sent them, which is actually pretty useful, but... Now I need to look at the messages they sent me. Um... Let me go ahead and copy this email. At some point, maybe I'll just make this file available. Because um, here's another really important one. Okay, and let me go ahead and, oops, not from here. From here. R, R, okay. Um, this explains why it's so difficult to compute eclipses uh, where the, the sun is a sphere, and that's actually pretty good. But Jupiter itself is not exactly a triaxial ellipsoid, and none of its moons are either. But even if they were, it's like freaking difficult to compute. Um, uh, right, and this is, the, this is the key phrase that I have not shown before. Um, they are actually freaking more, you would think they're not, but I, I've actually looked at it, and it turns out the, sh the uh, shadow cast by an ellipsoid, or even by a point, by the way, onto a flat surface, is very complex. It is not a simple oval or ellipse, as you would expect. It's, it's not a very well-named figure. Um, and as the... Um, Okay. By the way, I would like to quote this just because I have this here. They're planning to create a function that is similar to something what I have already created. That's pretty awesome. Of course, they'll probably do it correctly where I've probably done it incorrectly. Uh, this will be spherical to spherical blocking as opposed to... Oh, spherical, spherical, spherical. Uh, the light producer is spherical, the blocking object is spherical, and the recipient object is spherical. But not elliptical. Uh, ellipsoidical. Ellipsoid? Something like that. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, um, let's see. So this is really not about the spice double stuff. So let's go ahead and answer the. Um, um, so this is mainly the the good thing here. Um, so I actually now, and I'm kind of running out of stuff to say nice things about him. But I mean, there are plenty. But it, there's a limit to how much I can say about him. Um, that isn't too technical. Okay. Uh, let's see. Read the Spice Doubles emails. Now I can say read because it's more informal. Um, that was also very helpful there, explaining where I made an error and how to correct it. Unfortunately, I can't really say a lot more about that without getting technical. Um, But uh, not this one, actually, but the, um, let's see. Yeah, here. Uh, basically, the, the way spice, the way some of the sea spice structures work are they're actually macros, not structures. That means you have to treat them in a special way. And now, I gotta be, 
I also don't want to make this so long that it no one reads it. Um, I mean, words to that effect. Okay. Uh, oh, I forgot that I had an email on that. Um, ooh, shiny. Wow, NASA does a lot of crap. Um, let's see. Mm, oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh fuck. Um. Yeah, let me actually get this one in here too. This is actually really good too. This is a goddamn. This guy is like more verbose than I am in a good way. Because his stuff is actually useful. Let me go ahead and copy this in here too. Uh, this is actually a correction, but, um... Okay. And in fact, I owe him an answer on this one, actually. <laughs> I should really do that. Okay, so what we're, what we're saying here is blah, 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 blah. Um... This is where he... T again, this is not going to be part of the letter that I'm writing for him, but... This is where he points out that actually these things are actually macros and not really structures. Um, which is why they are... And okay, so this is what really, above and beyond, uh, he skimmed over code I sent him. Um, and I do owe him a um, an, expl an explanation of why I think the spice coverage routines give you uh, bad data, I think, but I could be wrong about that. I need to actually... Um, but the, the takeaway for the letter here would be that he even read over my code. So that is that is a very good thing. Let's see where I can put it in, though. Um, uh, um, reading over my code, which he did, comma, and explaining, explaining where I made an error, comma, and how to comma, and telling me, uh, reading over my code, going above and beyond, that's, that's a nice phrase, t by reading, uh, reading my code, not reading, just reading my code, okay, that I think is above and beyond, reading other people's codes, always, always a pain in the ass, I don't like to do it. Okay, so this is, uh, sorry, I don't know what I'm, I'm doing something you can't see. Uh, let's go back over here. Um, so this is good stuff. Um, also, let's see if there's, now the only other thing that's really missing from here is, um, well, Ed Wright, we need to talk about him. Uh, but the other thing we're missing from here is he's helped me on other things as well, and I want to mention that. Um... And let's see what we're going to do there. Um, la 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 la. Uh, okay. This is one of the shorter emails, but also useful. I'll go ahead and copy it here. This is maybe not as useful as some of the other emails. I just like showing that I get emails from NASA, apparently. That's, that's apparently what I'm doing. Okay. Um, yeah. By the way, for some bizarre reason, NASA sets the default tolerance, uh, st the default step size to be a microsecond, one millionth of a second, which is ridiculous. I just want to say that. Um, 
Yeah, and as he points out, there are corner cases where it's the right, right place, um, an object could go like up and down multiple times. And I've actually addressed that in some of my stack exchange questions and answers. Um, because if an object's declination and right ascension are changing, they're not changing, it, it's fairly simple. But if they are changing, like they do for every sun, planet, moon, everything like that, uh, you could have cases where you have like, it skims the horizon going up and down. Um, or in the case of the moon, I've, I've shown that it, it can go like almost set, but not quite set, and then continue rising again. So the moon, you could have a moon rise that lasts a very long time, like 48 hours, uh, because, no, I think it's longer than that, actually. Um, I'll have to look, but you can have a moon rise last a very long time, uh, because the moon can start to rise, go up a little bit, go down a little bit, but not quite set, go up a little bit again, and then continue to rise. And then the sun can do that. The sun can't do that because the sun's declination is, uni declination is unidirectional. And the sun doesn't go up and down every month. It, it goes up and down every year, which is, which is different enough that that uh, makes the, the, the long... It's still pretty long, but it's not quite as long. Okay, so this is pretty helpful, but I don't think this is actually going to do anything. Um, God damn. Okay. Um... Uh, okay, here's another one. This is actually shorter, but also really useful. Um, da, 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 da. Let's take a look. Okay, it is a macro. Um... Okay, let's see. Uh, all right, this is basically pointing out that because they're actually um, macros, and because they come from Fortran, you really can't resize them. They're not really, really structures uh, like like they pretend to be. Okay. Um. um Let's let's add a little bit more to this. And that was only and even giving me some brief history on how C spice structures uh, macro macro structures worked and their limitations, which is always a good thing. how they worked and their limitations which is which is which is fine because they do have limitations um, and he even asked me for an example that didn't work which I think I still owe him one um, holy crap why are people writing me stuff Bloody hell. Why are people writing me directly? Okay. Oh, I know who this is. Okay, never mind. Um, okay, so now the emails are gone back to about 2017, so I'm going to go ahead and stop reading those. I'm looking at other mails. I have them in two places. One is, one is in my actual inbox, which I haven't cleaned out apparently since forever. I think it actually goes back to 2005, but th that's only because I rotated it in 2005. I have emails that are even older than that. That's a little information for you that you didn't need. Okay, now let's take a look at this. Um, uh, let's see, blah, 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 boring. Um, okay, that's good. Return receipt. Uh, okay, we've looked at that one. I know you can't hear what I'm doing. Um, blah, 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 Oh, I need to look at Ed Wright's stuff, too, in a minute. Uh, um, okay. 
the hell is J Spice? Oh, okay. Um. Okay, this is Ed, is it Ed Wright that was he? Well, okay, so Ed Wright has helped me out. I need to, I need to kind of be cognizant of that. Um. Ah, okay. Um, and there's one other thing that um, I need to extend this now. Although it's not mentioned in your email, mm, as a note, um, that also helped me with other C Spice issues, comma, such as noting, let's see. Um, okay, and this is another thing I'm going to quote. I'm, I'm, I'm a quoting maniac. This does not in any way make up for the help. I mean, doesn't. Okay. All right. So this was, I was asking if uh, SPICE had the International Astronomical Union Constellation Boundaries. It does not. Um, but he did help me out in saying, if you want to do it, um, here's how to do it. I guess I could actually point him to where I am doing it. The problem is it's not really that efficient, but that doesn't matter, because this is actually important. Because we're, this is helping that, not necessarily being accurate. Um, Such so as confirming that IA, that C-SPICE does not include IAU constellation boundaries. Pomodoro time, back in two and two. Okay, we are almost back. And we're back. Okay, but in <coughs> I covered it so you're safe. Um, uh, confirming, blah, 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 blah. I don't want to make this a thing where I'm showing myself off, so you got to be a little bit careful here. Um, but giving me enough information to create such a function myself. Again, that, I don't, I don't worry. this is borderline of me bragging about stuff. Um, let's see. I think it's BC Constel C. Um... Okay, this is actually not what I'm looking for. I might have put it into an H file, actually. Which you're not supposed to do, but I'm an idiot, so... Uh, still no. Okay. 
I'm putting stuff all over the freaking place. Um, let's see. Hmm. Did I, I? I really shouldn't have put it into BC Lib H. That would be terrible. Hmm. I could have sworn. Okay. Oh, you know what? I think it includes... Um... Oh, yeah. Okay, here we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... Given... Damn, I read a lot of crap. And again, I'm going to be a little bit careful here that I'm not just sounding like I'm bragging, but I'm giving... Um, giving an effort to create the function... Um, to give me to create the function... Uh, to create such a function myself. It's a little bit awkward wording here because normally I just want to put a link. Whoa, why is this? Li oh, okay, but it's actually fine. Um, yeah, this is a little bit of awkward phrasing, but I don't think I can get around it. Um, I mean, I could point to the point in GitHub where this actually occurs. Actually, maybe I will do that. But it'll change and then we will... Yeah, you know what? That's actually not a bad idea. I'll point to it, and if it changes, at least he'll have the constellation number. He'll have the... Who is this guy? Mr. Ugly. Uh, constellation number. So we can send it to him with the highlight, which I think is this is just L9... Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh... <laughs> this is going to get worse and worse for poor Ed. Um, all right, let's see what else he helped me out with. Oh, shit, that was actually in 2017, so I might be going too far back now. Um, okay. So now... I think I've gone... Nope. Nope. Um. Uh, oh, wow. I'm back to 2016. I think we've said enough about nice things about I, I really have to be careful how I'm going to switch over to talk about um, Ed. Um, okay. Focus. Um, focus, focus, focus. All right. Okay, in this case, I think I'm going to look at just the emails from... Um, Ed Wright. Not, not a lot of those. There's a guy named Ernie Wright, but uh, who the hell is he? Oh, wow. Ernie Wright's a cool guy, by the way. But he's not the person I'm looking for. Um, this text from Wright. Um, oh, he did some stuff with this. Oh, 
Okay. Uh. Uh. Okay. I know you can't see what I'm doing. All right. Well, actually, let's go ahead and get Ed's email up here too. Might as well, right? This is all government work. It's not even copyrighted. Oh shit! Hang on. I need to put it somewhere else. Never mind. One sec. Please stand by. Okay. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, I need to probably save that. That's why. Come on. Yes. Save. Yes. Reload. Seriously? Yes. Really edit the buffer. Yes, really save. And here I should just be able to say notes. We're going to do this whether it kills... Oh, here we go. Um, so this is a Docker image for spices we've talked about. Um, uh, oh... Well, by the way, this guy has a funny name, Simonov. <laughs> that amuses me. All right. Uh, let's see Spice test code. Okay, so I think the issue here was, um, we're going to be nice to Ed, and say one of the issues here is that uh, Ed's wasn't able to help me, but because he was stopped by, you know, legal, not really legal reasons, I mean, it's a... Uh, U.S. government product, you don't really have a choice. Um, but but they do not want to distribute it. Um, which almost makes sense, but it doesn't. Um, and this is me... Uh, oh, wow. Is that really the only emails I got from him? Oh, wow, they are. Oh, here we are. Um... Let's see. Um, okay. All right. So I now need to make sure that I didn't actually send him something that he didn't respond to, because if he did, then I can bust his balls. Uh, but if he if he did respond, well, he didn't respond to it. But I don't. If I didn't send it to him, it's not. Um, it's not fair. Um. Okay. Very, very careful here, because, again, if this is somewhere that he actually responded, and I don't, um, and, okay, um, all right, stand by, um, Okay. Okay. Um. <sighs> All right. I'm going to have to be a little bit careful here how we phrase this. We want to be positive, but not too positive. Um. I call this Nat letter, even though, of course, I need to, um. Uh, no, no, no. Pub. Um, regarding Ed Wright's help with, it, I, it's Docker, but let's see what he called it. Um, um, this is going to just sound bad now. Um, I think Ed tried to be helpful, uh, but was limited by the fact, by the fact that, by the fact, and by the fact that um, NAIF does not want to share, distribute its, I gotta be very careful because I want to quote exactly what he said. Freaking moron. 
Um, uh, let's not distribute the test code. Um, does not want to distribute the test code publicly. And I'm not going to say even though it's technically a government produced work and not covered by National Secrets Act, so you have to give it to me because that's not nice. Um, um, so let's be let's let's help him out a little bit more. Um, uh, test code publicly. Um, um, I need to kind of, what I'm trying to now do is pitch something that says, this made me feel bad about what his answer was, but which made me feel bad, bad about Ed, but it's not because Ed is a bad person, it's just what he had to tell me was a bad thing. Okay, um, um, so I actually wrote him on the August 1st of 2019, he never got back to me, but that might just be because he didn't, wasn't allowed to, um, I think I tried to be with, um, fortunately, that means Ed's ability to help was limited, as was my interaction with Ed. Aha! That's a good way of saying it without saying anything. It, it's bad, but... Um, um, test code or Docker image publicly. Um... Um, I'm certainly hoping, hoping that uh, NAIF lists, lifts, not lists, its restrictions on distributing code, and I'm sure that Ed will be of more, can, will be, would be, could be, will be of more help when that happens. So that's a good piss on him. I think we pretty much nailed this letter. I'm going to go ahead and send it out. Uh, which you can't see because it is on my other machine. Uh, oh wow, it was May 1st the deadline, so it was actually pretty tight. Uh, now we just would put this in here. What the hell is this? This is... I'm going to copy it to temp because, well, I don't know why I'm telling you that. You don't need to know that. Because right now it's m m deep, deep inside of the directory structure. Um, oh, actually, one thing. Let's read, it. Let's read the whole thing before we, we send it out. Always, um, just to make sure we haven't screwed anything up. Thank you, Minchin. Um, uh, I know I'm just saying, but you can read along with me. Okay. Okay, that's probably exaggeration, but true. Okay. Yeah, still kind of sucks for poor Ed, but you know, I I got to do what I got to do. Alrighty. I don't I don't have a SIG file. I need to do that. Um. Okay, that is fucking long. I'm not going to CC Nat on this because that would be excessive. Uh, so let me go ahead and send it off real quick here. Hang on. While I do some magic. And off it goes. It has now been distributed. So that took up a good... How long did that take? 
one hour and 11 minutes to write that letter. That is awesome. Um, and all of that wasn't even the main point of today's, uh, today's activities. So let's go ahead and get back to the main point. Um, and, oh yeah, and the one thing we want to look at today and we'll just say that. Uh, it turns out that um, Maxima already has a linear regression function which gives even more information than the, the fake li linear regression function that I created, so I would like to look at it. Um, but first things first, let's go ahead and update our two sets of COVID data. The death toll is rising. Yeah, because it can't fall. People don't undie. Sorry, that's just a pet peeve of mine when people say things in a dire way that are kind of obvious anyway. The death toll is mounting. Well, who is it mounting? And is he enjoying it? Or she, I guess. All right. So let's go ahead and look at linear regression or linear regression, as the case may be. Okay. Close enough. Multivariate linear regression in multiple variables. Uh, our independent random variables must be a matrix with more than one column. Um, okay. Inference result maxima object with all these good things in it. Um, So it looks like we can just use this thing almost straight out of the box. Um, let's go ahead and do maxima. Okay, it is Pomodoro time. I do want it back in two and two. And we are almost back. And we're back. So, nope, didn't mean to do that. So B1. Oh, there is no B1. That was just freaking weird. Okay. Oh. Because of the mount, I have to do that again. Wait, where am I? Oh, yeah. Where am I? Okay, I still don't know why these errors are showing up, but I'm going to pretend that I, I don't think they're serious, though. Okay, so... This gives us, in addition to these functions, it also defines um, deaths of world and deaths of USA. And I always forget how I need... It's, it's a very minor way of fixing them so that you can do a regression on them. Um, yeah, yesterday I, I created this other way of doing it, but um, least squares estimates. Yeah, here it is. Transpose matrix, blah, blah, blah. We will call it something different today because uh, it's a different time. I don't mean like a different era. I mean 
literally it's 3.22 p.m. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. And now if I'm reading this correctly, we should just be able to say this. Well, we were, didn't do anything though. Um, do I need to load something for that to work? Probably. Well, it did do an autocomplete for me, but let's go ahead and load stats just to be, just to make things happy. Just to make this happy. I really kind of want to do a load star, but I get the feeling that somehow that's going to be the wrong thing to do. La 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 la. Dip 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 dip. Sorry, started singing there. Okay, now hopefully, I don't think that actually did anything, but okay. So now we can do linear regression on T fifteen twenty two. Shiny. Wow. By the way, the linear regression here is very poor because uh, the data is not at all linear for the entire period of time that we're looking at, the 92-day period. Uh, so this is not surprising that these numbers are, I think ADC is, okay, I'm trying to find what the R squared number is, and I think ADC is the square root of that number, but let's find out. Um, the cover. I don't know what some of these words mean. Um, this, I think, is just the estimate. This is the linear model itself. The B statistics. Statistics for testing coefficient. Cool, I wish I knew what the stuff was. Unbiased variance estimator. Variance confidence interval. Adjusted and now they won't show me these two things. Um, but this is freaking cool. And now the question is, can I just suck one piece of it out like ADC? No, I cannot. Oh, actually, dot wouldn't be the right way to do it anyway. Nope. Uh... I guess the function they want us, let's go ahead and, before we forget, let's go ahead and do this. Um, okay. Um, and let's go ahead and assign that to a variable so we can F with it. Set space. There we go. Okay. All right. Now, apparently there are functions that will get crap out of this, like... Items inference, let's see how they use these things. Ooh, shiny. Um, of T1526, which is the regression. Ooh, very shiny. That doesn't help. I mean, that's just a fixed kind of output. But still, it looks kind of cute. Cool. Um, take infer. oh. Uh, okay. Oh, and the residuals would be kind of nice. Where are the residuals? We want the residuals. Okay. Um, actually, let's do that. Wrong object in take. That's kind of weird. Oh, it's the other way around. Show me the residuals. That's not bad, actually. Okay. Now show me the money. No, show me the ADC, which is this number. That is not bad at all. All right, so now. So now we're going to talk about fooling people with statistics. Now clearly, the, if you try to do a linear, uh, linear fit to the whole thing, it's just not going to work. Um, but what if we were trying to linear fit to the past N days where n goes from 3 to, you know, let's say, 90, all the way up to 92, but...
who can do that, but this is a very ugly looking function. So what we do is we first take T1522, and actually I'm gonna I'm gonna say it in its full form, which is trans blah, 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 blah. And then we're gonna do a last n. And 20 is gonna obviously be a it's gonna be n, but okay. And then I think we can just do a linear regression of that. Oh, cool. Oh, wow, look at that ADC. That is fucking awesome. Um, and then, what is it, take inference? No, it's the other one. Uh, I didn't write it down. Uh, yeah, just take inference. Take inference... Booyah. So how is this going to help us? Um, and here it's going to be N. If this works, it's going to help us by showing how many days back we have to go to get the best inference, to get the best linear approximation, to make the best fit for linear approximation. Okay, so what is T50? One is probably going to choke, so let's do two. Yeah. Pretty sure that's not going to work. So three. Yeah. Um, because with two points, I mean, you can do a linear regression on two points, but it's trivial. Okay. Now, this is a very, very high inference, but again, three is a low number, so we kind of want to, you know, we, we kind of have to balance uh, how many days with... Um, that's actually better. Okay, so let's actually, and now, of course, we could be crazy. Um, okay. And I could even do this as, you know what, let's actually do this as points. Um, make list T1528N, where N goes from 3 to, um, I guess I'll say length of T1522. But I mean, it's not going to be, it's going to be really bad for, um, for the, if you go back far enough, it's going to be very bad, but that's okay. Alrighty. So now, I should be able to do this. I don't know why, draw 2D of this should give us something. Oh, that is really, really nice. That is fucking gorgeous. So this basically shows if you try to fit a line to the data going back n days, uh, if you go back too far, it's going to be sucky. But what's interesting is right here, we kind of want to avoid this point. It's too close. But right over here, wow, 16 is the top peak. Um, actually, let's, let's do this. I think 16 is... Oh, this looks better. Yeah, so it looks like 16 is the peak. So we have here... Um, yeah, that is the peak for the last few days. I mean, excluding the um, the cases where we, we don't... Where it's too close, we don't want to get into it. So 9... Seven. Wait, wait, wait. 99637. Hey, wait a minute. Did I F that up? Oh shit, because I did a make list from three. Okay, well that's not good. So I probably meant 18 or something, but let's not, let's not do that. Let's, um, um, uh, so we could just do, we could do a max on this, but that's kind of not what we want. Um, so I guess we could do, yeah, uh, sort of points. We can also do plot 2D discrete, make list, oh, um, N, N where N goes from 
three to length fifteen. So this this is going this way we're gonna match up the uh, value of n with the um, with the number that we need. So let's see. not as nice as I wanted it to be, but you know. Okay. Nope. Oh, this this this. Okay. So now it's at least matching the the numbers are going to match, and you'll notice there's nothing between for the first three. So now if I do this, that is pretty tight actually. So 18 is the max, and I actually what the hell? Um, 18 is the max of this. And I'm just going to double check because I'm a weenie. Oh, wow, it's very close to 19, but 18 is the max. Okay. And I'll just make that a comment. So. Um, so let's go ahead and define... Um, Last n. Oh wow! Why did I do that? I could have just used this. Anyway, uh, last n of t fifteen twenty two eighteen, and this should be a very linear looking function. And actually, let's go ahead. And There's no need to plot it. I'm going to though because. Wait. 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 Can I do this? I don't think this is going to work. Um, because I think it doesn't want it in this form. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is... Maybe? And I could do it, but I mean... So the plot here would be basically... Um, Last n days 18, last n deaths in the world, 18. Also be useful if I did this. Yeah. Okay, that's not as linear as I was hoping, but pretty fucking linear. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and do a linear regression on this, which is what we really want. And this is where we get our very high ADC. Um, I don't fully understand this, but the part I do understand is um, this predicts 6841 new deaths per day. Uh, let's go ahead and write that number down. Um, and in quotation, okay. So why is this useful? Well, if you wanted to convince someone um, that this was a linear growth, you could say, well, if you look at the last 18 days, and be very careful not to say last 18. Don't, don't emphasize 18, because then people are going to say, what about 19 or 17? Why did you ch choose 18? Make it sound natural. Last 18 days, you'll see the, uh, the uh, R squared, the, the, you know, the inference number is 997. That's a very good, very good fit there to the, uh, to the line. Um, which it probably is. Uh, let's see, linear regression, take inference, um, residuals. Yeah, and let's... Again, I really shouldn't be doing it like this, but also I don't care. It's faster. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty close. So have I reached the point of what I'm saying? No. Now... Here's where it gets interesting. Well, let's pretend that we were this chicanerous, if that is a word, st statistician, and we wanted to pull this off last week. In other words, last week we wanted to find the best fit linear inference, linear um, regression, and claim that it was predictive. And then let's see if it actually was predictive. I haven't done this, so if it turns out it is predictive, I'm going to be kind of screwed. But that's okay, because I'm kind of screwed most of the time. Okay, so first thing we do is we get, um, we're going to use the um, 
Instead of using the hold matrix, we're going to use the matrix that is... Take all but the last seven is what I'm trying to do here. Um, and there is a way to do that. First N... Yeah, I guess we could just do this. First N of this length... I guess we could even actually just say first N of T1522 uh, length T1522 minus 7. So we, we whisk ourselves back in time to when we had this data. Didn't know what's going to happen in the future. Now we're going to use the same little cheating method here and try to find out what the best linear inference would have been at that time. So that's 1538, da, 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 da. Uh, T1537, comma, N. I think that's right. Okay. So again, we're going back in time, pretending it's last, uh, last, um, last week. And now we're trying to find what the best linear model would have been last week. Um, oh yeah, we need to kind of, we, we kind of need to, to um, yeah, let's go ahead and, um, T1538, comma, N, T1537, and what are we doing, T1537, all right, so let's take a look here. Uh, again, very high linear inferences if you're looking at the more recent data. And and I guess in order to plot it correctly, I had to do that little magic with my... Um, which I didn't write down, which kind of annoys me. Um, all right, Pomodoro time, back in two and two. Okay, we are almost back. Alrighty, and we are back. So let's go ahead and find what I did earlier to... Uh, not that. No, don't think it was even that. This was what it was. Um, obviously, plotting is not the best way to find the, the maximum. We're just doing that for fun. Okay, so the length of T1537. And this time the list is going to start at 3 also. Okay. So... That should work. It really should be a null command. But anyway. Okay, and again, as we expected, we see the uh, further back you go, the worse the linear regression is. Now, what's interesting here is, let's take a look at this real quick. This is going back six days, and it's surprisingly good 
that you're kind of tempted to use it. And that would actually be reasonable, I think, to say six days uh, worth of regression. Um, kind of curious. All right, and the hump here is also 18 days. Interesting. Um, the 18 day average. Okay. So I think 6 and 18 are, we'll, we'll use both. Well, 6 is better, but 18 is close. Okay, so T1538 of 6 and of 18. Wait, that's not cool. Hang on. Um, oh, whoop, 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 whoop. No, that was not too much of a coincidence. 1538, yeah, it was going to be like, why the hell am I getting the exact same numbers? Um, yeah. This is going to be better. Okay. Very close to one up here. But someone must win. And the winner by a slidge is 11. Okay, um, again, we could have obviously done this without graphing it. I just like graphing things. So T1538 of 11, very high, very, very, very high, 0.998. And so now, of course, we want to say, because 11 is our magic number, uh, we would say, wait, what would we say? What do we do up here? Oh yeah, we defined the last 18. That's T1545 is last n of our data, T1537. And we we're going to say 11. And then we can run a linear regression on that. Um, we could also plot it if we wanted to. OK, so this is, um, I wonder if I could do points of that. I don't think it's going to work, though. And then draw... I don't think this is going to work. I don't think it likes points like this. Ooh! It does! And you can see that's a very freaking close to being linear. So now... Let's run linear regression on this reduced sample. Okay. And the function it's giving us is minus this plus plus this. Okay, so that's our, again, obviously there can't be negative deaths, but this is only good for this period of time. So we're not, we're not claiming that it is, um, that it is a, uh, always valid uh, estimation. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. We will obviously need to convert this to Um, so I'm kind of surprised you don't you can't get that directly out of this, but um, anyway. Okay. So now, now obviously, if we're going to plot this, um, yeah, let's let's actually just look at. So obviously, uh, if we use it between the uh, up to 85, where it's actually, you know, what we did. That is very close to the actual number because that's how it was prepared. So, but how would it be doing... Uh, let's see. Um... Okay, so these are for the last seven days. Actually, I'll just do the last eight days, so we have an overlap. Um, so, great prediction as designed for this. But what happens if you go not so great? Not so great? Actually, let's just go all the way to what we want, which is today. 92. 
So that applied to date. That's actually not bad. Um, so if you'd done that, you would have been off by 5,000 for today, but that's not that bad, actually. Um, and the estimation there would have been 6426 deaths per day as opposed to 6840 deaths that we're projecting forward. Um, not great, obviously, but uh, not, not too bad, actually. Um, not too bad. Okay, so what if we'd done this two weeks ago? I mean, we could keep... The point is that at some point we're going to go back far enough and we're going to realize the even the best fit linear model for that day isn't going to be accurate. However, however, I'm tired of all this. So it has been an hour and 42 minutes, which is about the amount of time I stream before getting tired uh, of, of life, basically. Okay, thank you for watching the stream. Thank you for watching the uh, letter to Nat. And thank you for watching this. We might dig more into this later uh, with exponential models and so on. Um, and basically the goal is going to be to show um, you can do a lot of cheating with statistics by, you know, ignoring, by, by giving out some numbers and ignoring the fact that you could have chosen other numbers that would have given you, by cherry picking is the, is the answer basically. We cherry pick the best data and can say, look at how good of a, of a fit we have. But ultimately, that is not accurate for future predictions. It's just uh, data fudging or data wanking, as I say, data fucking over, basically. Thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.